We all have observed that one person who can hardly stand a noisy environment or who deeply appreciates beauty more than we can imagine. Well, if you're that person or you know someone who is, you're most likely a highly sensitive person. Highly sensitive people are affected by and react stronger than most people to various stimuli. If you have often been told to grow a thick skin, if you have often been told you take things too personally, if you have been told you are too sensitive, you may be a highly sensitive person. Does this mean being highly sensitive is a cause? Well, in the late 1990s, psychologist Ellen Aaron, PhD, coined the term highly sensitive people, HSP. According to Dr. Aaron, at least one in every five person is highly sensitive. This means that you or someone you know is highly sensitive. According to Dr. Aaron, highly sensitive people have nervous systems that get aroused easily more than others. Such people are more in tune with themselves, others, and their environments. As a result, such people are more easily overwhelmed. Although being highly sensitive may have its challenges, it is a powerful strength to have as a leader. According to a Forbes interview with Dr. Aaron, studies have shown that HSPs have more active mental security and neurochemicals in areas related to attention, action planning, decision making, and having strong internal experiences. In other words, you have a deep capacity to channel your focus with precision, make thoughtful choices, and spark rich insights to bring great ideas to the table. If you're a highly sensitive person, the surprising traits below describes you. 1. You hate violence and cruelty of any kind. If you find yourself holding tightly to your pillow or grabbing hold of the person sitting next to you when violent scenes in a movie are shown on the screen, you are most certainly a highly sensitive person. If you can't stand gory sights like accidents or riots, you are highly sensitive. Most highly sensitive persons would rather work away from the scene of a ghastly accident than wait to see. It's not because they don't care, but because they are sensitive to things like that. We all arbor cruelty and violence of any kind. However, seeing or hearing about violence and cruelty can be so disturbing for highly sensitive people. First, if you can't watch very scary, gory, or violent movies without getting upset or even feeling physically sick, you are a highly sensitive person. If you also cannot stand news stories filled with brutality or violence, you are highly sensitive. 2. Your perceptive. Highly sensitive people observe things or details others may not be paying attention to. This makes them insightful and perceptive. Most HSPs are often found to be wiser than their ages when they are little because they are sensitive. HSPs are highly compassionate and appreciative so they make the best leaders in the world. 3. You are conscientious. Being a highly sensitive person definitely has its own good sides. As HSPs hate to make mistakes, you don't have to be perfect. You just love to give your best to everything until it shines. That's an HSP. 4. You are misunderstood. It's just normal that HSPs will be misunderstood because of their tendency to be sensitive to almost everything. Most people may judge you as shy or introverted when really you are not. Being highly sensitive does not mean you are an introvert. You just share certain characteristics with introverts. 30% of HSPs are actually extroverts. 5. You are jumpy. If you are easily startled, especially when you hear a sudden sound or someone comes nakedly behind you, you are highly sensitive. Highly sensitive people have high working nervous systems that let them remain even sensitive to almost the leadless things. With such a nervous system, they have what is called the startle reflex. 6. You think deeply. Being highly sensitive means you think deeply and so you process information deeper than other people. This may take time and a measure of aloneness, but people would wonder how you are able to see the subtleties in a matter while they couldn't, all because you spent time thinking about the information you got. With this deep thinking habit, it means you overthink your experiences. As a result, the danger there is is that highly sensitive people indulge in overthinking things, especially in a negative manner. Too often, highly sensitive people can play events over and over in their minds or they could sometimes slide into anxious thoughts. 7. You are a seeker. Highly sensitive people are curious. They want answers to most issues in life. They don't wait around accepting the fact of life as is. 
to pursue answers to the big questions in life. They want to know why things happen the way they happen and what they could do to change it or to be a part of it. A highly sensitive person is often enamored by the mysteries of human nature and the universe, and too often, they are surprised others do not feel the same way. 8. Sudden loud noises startle you If you can't stand loud noise, or you are startled by loud noises, you are a highly sensitive person. If sudden chirps of birds happen right outside your window, it could startle you. You are highly sensitive when sudden noises push you off. 9. Your clothing matters If you are a highly sensitive person, you are choosy about clothes you wear. You hate to wear uncomfortable clothes and tight restrictive clothing turns you off. Some other people may be like this, but highly sensitive people will pay very careful attention to their wardrobe being right for them because should they experience any discomfort while they are out wearing the wrong things, it would affect them. 10. Your pain tolerance is less Highly sensitive people cannot bear long under pain. They are more sensitive to pain of all kinds, headaches, body aches, injuries, etc. than people who are not highly sensitive. 11. Your inner world is alive and present Because HSPs process information deeply, they have a rich imagination. They usually have very great dreams and goals for themselves. They can be deeply creative in their imagination and tend to pursue realistic dreams. 12. Change is extremely upsetting. Highly sensitive people appreciate their routines and so they hate when anything has to change what they are used to doing. As a result, highly sensitive people can be resistant to change. Whether you're good or bad, positive or negative, highly sensitive people usually require more time to adjust to change than people who are not highly sensitive. 13. Environment can be your enemy HSPs may not be comfortable with changing their environment. They enjoy the comfort of not having to be inundated with a lot of stimuli. Thus, HSPs may not appreciate long-distance traveling or vacation, even though it will be fun all the way. 14. You withdraw often A highly sensitive person does not have to be extroverted or introverted. Highly sensitive persons always need a lot of time alone, time to replenish their lost strength and think. They need plenty of alone time. If you constantly find yourself always desiring to be alone, if you often catch yourself going into a room alone after working hard during the day so that you can recharge yourself and reduce your level of stimulation, you are a highly sensitive person. 15. You are deeply moved by beauty While they may not necessarily be a creative hype, HSPs appreciate beauty a great deal and they talk about it. Beautiful things impact highly sensitive people. Good meals, fine scents, lovely artworks, or beautiful songs impresses HSPs a lot. As an HSP, you are surprised people are not moved by beauty the way you are. 16. You hardly need stimulants As a highly sensitive person, your nervous system is consistently dialed up to the highest level, so you hardly need stimulants. Alcohol or caffeine usually would affect some highly sensitive people, so they need very little of them to feel hypersensitive. If you are highly sensitive, you stay clear of the bottles and caffeine. 17. Conflict is your poison A highly sensitive person never does well under conflict. Thus, they try as much as possible to avoid conflict. Why? Because they are highly sensitive. HSPs feel it in a deeper way when there is tension or disagreement in their close relationships. Some HSPs feel physically ill during conflict. Because of this, most HSPs would rather apologize or simply keep quiet and stay away to avoid conflicts as they know they would be hurt much more by conflict. 18. Criticism is a dagger HSPs, because of their sensitive nature, do not often respond well to criticism. It is like stabbing them with a knife. For HSPs, word count a great deal. Positive criticism encourages them while negative criticism can leave them in the dump. HSPs cannot stand negativity. 19. Time pressure really rattles you A highly sensitive individual may hate to be timed. This may include not being able to handle deadlines properly. When the time is set for anything, it could get your blood all worked up if you are a highly sensitive person. If timed quizzes or speed tests got you terribly anxious, such that you could not do your best at the time. If timed quizzes or speed tests get you terribly anxious, such that you could not do your best at a time while you were in school. 
you are most certainly highly sensitive. When you are highly sensitive, you don't respond properly to having a lot on your to-do list with very little time to get those things done. Highly sensitive people respond poorly to time pressure because they are sensitive to stimuli. Number 20. You get angry easily. If you are highly sensitive, you don't want to be really hungry because if that happens, you tend to be angry as well. Being hungry means being hungry and angry at the same time. HSPs are sensitive to change in blood sugar level so they may get hungry, that is hungry plus angry if they haven't eaten in a while. 21. You are frequently emotionally exhausted from absorbing other people's feelings. Highly sensitive people are not often empathetic but because of their sensitive nature, they can absorb the emotions of others just like people who are very empathetic do. A highly sensitive person can observe people and immediately sense the mood those people are in. This is because, according to a study, highly sensitive people pay attention to subtleties other people do not pay attention to. A highly sensitive person will observe like facial expressions, body language, and tone of voice and with those can almost tell the mood of the people in the room. When the highly sensitive person is empathetic, it becomes effortless to put themselves in other people's shoes enough to feel other people's emotions. This is why highly sensitive people often get exhausted emotionally. If this video has helped you, subscribe to this channel. We love you.